This week we give out our first girls MVP bobblehead of the year. This young lady recently proved that if you want to try to slow her down, you better bring your A plus game because she's guaranteed to bring hers. Mansfield Timberview guard Kennedy Carter will dominate a game in every way possible. Last week she made it look easy and wins over Lancaster and Waxahachie, scoring 21 points in both games. She's the main target for defenses and yet she is still impossible to guard. She topped off her stellar week by becoming one of two DFW hoopsters to be named the McDonald's All-American Game. For her tremendous week, Kennedy Carter is our MVP bobblehead winner. Nice work. And Kennedy joins us now along with her coach, Kit Martin. Congratulations, your very own MVP bobblehead. How does it look? Game day about right? Yeah, it looks just like me. Uh, thank you. I'm really blessed and truly honored to receive this bobblehead. It's well, my first. Yeah, good, good, I hope. And I hope you're the only one because that's pretty unique. All right, so you made it to the McDonald's All-American game. A lot of people understand that that's a huge deal. Was that a goal of yours, and how satisfied are you that you were chosen to play in that game? Oh, of course. Uh, I've always wanted to be that since I was a kid. I looked at that and so many um, other things to be. So I just worked hard, and I was praying, and I'm really blessed to be able to play amongst some of the best players in the country, honestly. And Coach, obviously you've known her for a while. Uh, her game speaks for itself, but... Tell me a little bit about her personality that's important, whether it's a leadership thing that you can see on the court without, you know, the skills of basketball influencing that. It's, uh, to me, her passion for everything that she does. She brings her love of the game, and it spreads to our team, and it spreads to everybody that comes to watch. She's just, it's that energy and, and, uh, and, and honestly, love of the game that is, makes her unique to, uh, to go with the talent that she's got for us. Yeah, and she's pretty good, too, along with that passion. All right, Kennedy, you could probably score whenever you wanted to, but tell me how you've made a conscious effort to get your teammates involved because you've got some players on that team. Um, I just take what the defense gives me. Uh, my teammates can create for me, and we, create, we can create for each other. So on offense, I look for them. They look for me. I just make it work, stick with Coach's game plan, and see what we can do. And, Coach, y'all are battle-tested at this point. You played a pretty tough schedule, Duncanville twice, beating them once. Uh, Amarillo, some of them uh, that you may see again. Uh, how has that s schedule to this point maybe gotten you prepared for what's to come here in the postseason, which is right around the corner? We hope that it's done the job that we intended for it to do, and that is to see every situation, be pressed, be, uh, be put in, in tight situations, and to, and to have to deal with loss, which we've had to do uh, twice this year. We don't like to do that, so we want to try to do everything we can to learn from those uh, opportunities. And we, we built, uh, built our schedule to be uh, the best in the area this year, and I, I think we achieved that. Well, best of luck. We'll be watching the playoffs. Thank and she's you. going to Texas A&M so she can keep the color scheme going, which is really <laughs> convenient. So congratulations.